Imagine opening a new business right in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, and four years later, you're not only seeing all your hard work pay off, but you're ready to go even bigger. I'm your neighborhood reporter in Bakersfield, Veronica Morley, and thanks to the city's entrepreneurship grant program, small businesses like Sweet Bites and Ice are seeing their hard work pay off. Stephanie Chavez said it was a trip to Europe that inspired her to open her business, Sweet Bites and Ice. Uh, one of the things that I saw was these small stands of like crepes and waffles. I remember thinking uh, this would be such an amazing experience to share with my parents. In 2020, she teamed up with her parents to combine her European experience with their native Mexican flavors, opening the dessert food truck off White Lane with crepes, waffles, churros and aguas frescas. While it's been fun sharing her sweet tooth with the rest of the community, it didn't come without a few bumps in the road. Bumps that we had going moving forward, uh, there were a lot of supply chain issues. We had a really hard time finding supplies. Chavez, like many small business owners, worked diligently looking for ways to grow, teaming up with the Small Business Development Center at CSUB, which eventually brought her to the city's entrepreneurship grant program. Since the start of the program in June, the city has had more than 80 applicants and okayed over $300,000 to 33 local businesses. This week, three more entrepreneurs receiving their grants totaling $90,000, including Chavez, who was awarded $40,000, which she plans to use to expand. We are about to open our first brick and mortar location on California Avenue, where the Maya Retail Center is at. So that's been a big step for us. While these funds will help Chavez build her dream come true, she's also eager to see it go back into helping the local economic base. This grant will definitely be going to that. So we'll be creating new employment opportunities at this new location. And so we're just excited to be open. And the city will continue to award these grants until they run out of their 1.5 million ARPA funds. Businesses can apply after taking one of the city's technical assistance trainings. You can find more details on our website, turn to 23com In Bakersfield, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Veronica Morley.